In Flinto for Mac version 2.2, we've added a text tool. To insert a text layer, go to the Insert menu and choose Text. Then click on a screen where you'd like to insert it and start typing. You can also use the T key as a shortcut for quickly adding a text layer. To edit a text layer, click on it, then press Enter. You can also double click to quickly enter text edit mode. If you resize a text container, the text enters fixed sizing mode and the text will reflow as you resize it. Now you can see the effects of setting the alignment options. There's also vertical alignment. And if you want to get back to auto sizing, you just click the auto button here. But for this one, I would like to wrap on the two lines. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And let's change the color. Now I'm going to make a few more text layers here. And let's line these all up and put this in the center of the screen. All right, let's take a look at text animation now. I'm going to make a behavior around all these layers. And when you tap on cactus, it'll go to a new state. And in this state, I'm going to hide these two layers. So I'll do that by scaling them down. And notice that when I resize text in the behavior designer, and this is true in the transition designer as well, the text resizes instead of reflowing. The nice thing is that even if you scale it way up, you still have crisp edges because it's actual vector editable text. So I'm going to scale this down. I'll scale this one down as well. And you can see the font size here in the inspector. So I just want to make sure that these are roughly the same. And I'll have those fade out as they scale down. And then this one will scale up nice and big. And I'll change the color to, let's go with a green. So you can see you can animate the text size and text color. You can also animate shadows on text. And even if you rotate text, it's always going to look crisp because it's real text. All right, so let me just make a way to get back from here to here. And let's take a look at the preview. So that's pretty much all you need to know to use text inside of Flinto. But I want to mention importing from Sketch. You can import text layers from Sketch, and they'll come through as editable text layers as long as they're supported by Flinto. I'm inside of Sketch, and on the left here, you'll see text layers that aren't supported by Flinto. For example, this one has a gradient fill, a border, and multiple shadows. So these will still import, they'll just be flattened into bitmaps. The text on the right has multiple text colors, and that's fine, that'll be imported. This just has a single fill, that's totally fine, that'll be imported. And this has a single drop shadow, so these will all be imported as editable text.